Hi everyone. Well, it's a bank holiday, the sun's shining, there's been a few rainstorms. But I'm here with both of the crew, Buddy and Belle, and I thought we would come for a walk along the river. And uh, I'm going to test out some new gear, namely a chillax hammock. Bail this way. Um, I've just read in the sign, so this is actually part of the Glasgow Botanic Gardens, this area. Um, and this small structure here is an old flint mill. Not much of it left now. I'm going to see if there's a spot along here near the river where we could try and set up the hammock. Just depends how busy it is. You can see here this these are the big millstones and I think that bit is, don't know some sort of bit where had something. Stop it then. So let's have a look over here. Buddy gets so annoyed because she's got the ball. Then there's no way he would go in for it though. He does not like the water. That much, whereas as you can see, she really enjoys it. So this is the spot that I picked to come and set the hammock up um, because it was next to the river for the dogs, which I thought would be quite nice for them. Um, I'm not too sure how long those the straps are, so I'm going to try and set it up between these two trees just here. But they're really really thick trunks so I'm not sure if it will work but anyway we'll give it a try so we'll see how we get on so I'm just going to walk on a wee bit from that spot because the trees were too wide um, and they were too far apart um, and I think that's a really distinct advantage to coming out and testing your gear because at least, you know, it's not a nighttime situation. I'm not in a hurry to set up or anything. Um, and I can find out, you know, what the capacities, what the limitations are of, of the hammock. Um, so we're going to try and find another spot. Um, and I'm going to try and pick a better, couple of better trees, basically. This 
these spots really only main danger zone for them because they obviously don't want them sneaking under the fence and going in the river at that point. Not a good idea. No! Come here! over to the other side from the river um, there's a small kind of aqueduct there which separates the, this path this side of the path from the river side over there I wasn't going to choose this side it's not ideal because it's all uphill And being at the river would be better for the dogs because uh, you know, most people that pass on that side are dog walkers and this side's a bit busier. But we'll wait and see. I thought I would just give you a close-up of the suspension system. Um, it was one of the reasons I bought this off eBay. It's got these really big, thick hooks. Um, and you just pull that through the hammock. Really easy. So there you go, guys. I managed to find a spot and test it out. I got this off eBay, it was a real bargain, it was only £14 but it's a really um, good quality hammock and the strap systems are really really good, they're so easy to work, um, it's a double so there's plenty of, plenty of fabric here you know for covering yourself or whatever. 
probably the main disadvantage is you can't really see what the dogs are doing when you're lying in this though. Lord knows what they're up to, probably terrorising the neighbourhood. But yeah, I'm glad I came out to give this a test because it's better to find out how to set things up when you're not in a hurry and you're not camping overnight. I don't know if I would plan to do actual hammock camping. This was more just about having somewhere to sit and chillax. So another alternative when you're out with the tent. 